Good day, everyone. My name is Maria Kondzielska, and this is Poland Daily Culture. There are many theaters in Warsaw, but only few of them perform in English. Have you ever heard about the cheerful Hamlets? Two of them are with me in the studio, Paulina Pirkowska and Janek Zentara. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having us. But before we ask them a few questions, let's watch some of their work. Well, it all started with... My name is Suddenly, he got all startled. I threw him out. He came asking... You know that new donut shop? It's got way too many sprinkles. How it is to be a cheerful Hamlet? How it is to be an actor performing in English? As my friend put it, this is the best thing that happened to him during his whole university career. Um, apart from it being an extracurricular activity, I think it is a hobby for all of us. And it is a really nice way to spend Friday evenings instead of sitting in a bar and sipping. Yeah. How did it develop you? Did it develop also your language skills and maybe any other skills? Mostly social skills, I think. <laughs> and also, uh, well, acting itself, we learn to express more feelings with each rehearsal as we are asked to do many different emotions and we need to challenge ourselves each time. But. Um, I think that uh, what is more developing for us is that we try our best each time, so we want to go to new workshops, to, to new plays in different theatres and to stage something more and more uh, difficult for us. Also, theatre allows you to put everything in perspective. As in United States, for example, drama classes are obligatory for children so that they develop the sense of empathy yeah, acting skills. Yeah. Also. Is there any your dream play which you would like the most to have on stage? But for example, it's hard to perform, or it's, or are there any other limitations which doesn't allow you so far? But it would be your goal, for example, that I play. I don't know. I can play Juliet on stage and then give up and go back to work life or start <laughs> start working. Well, my dream is to stage a musical, <laughs> any musical at all, but it's so difficult that I don't think we'll ever be able to do it. <laughs> I don't know. We had one proposition to stage, was it Measure for Measure? Mm -hmm. But for it we would need a revolving stage, so this is definitely beyond our budget. <laughs> and everyone would need to also sing in English, which sounds impossible. But we have many <laughs> talented people in our group and many people know how to sing and they sing so well and you can actually see it in some of our plays. We, we try to add this um, musical accent in each play we stage and there are some people who uh, play on the instruments or sing and it's possible but we need <laughs> bigger stages. <laughs> And since after this, um, all knowledge which you get and uh, get from the uh, and this experience of the Church of Hamlet, is it still a hobby for you, or would you like to try, or you, are any one of you planning to become a professional actor? I think our group is a really good uh, head start for anyone wanting to to sacrifice themselves to to theatre. One of our friends actually got into the Theatre Academy in Warsaw and is on the second year of, of the director studies. What would you recommend for anyone who would like to become a part of the team, how to prepare themselves for the audition? We ask uh, everyone for the audition to learn something by heart. In, it can be actually anything. It can be part of your favorite book or a movie or a song or a poem, anything at all. But you need to know it by heart, because after you decline the text, we ask you to do several exercises that demand you to know it and to say it in a different, totally abstract sometimes setting. So for example, you are asked to say the same text, uh, like you are in the announcer at their boxing fights. So we need to shout and everything, but with the same, very same text that you prepared. 
Is there is a very mean question which I'm going to ask you right now. But is there any text you know right now by heart and can perform in front of us here? Let's do the scene of the Richard. <laughs> there is a lot of shouting involved. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'm ready for it. <laughs> Anything small, Yannick. A uh, element from, for example, Richard III, where you played the main role. Give us something. Sure, anytime. <laughs> Now is the winter of our discontent, made glorious summer by this son of York, and all the clouds that lowered upon our house in the deep bosom of the ocean, buried. Wonderful. I think that everyone who watched this would like to see the whole play Richard III by the Cheerful Hamlet. And thank you for watching Poland Daily Culture.